So you're thinking about moving to Orange County in California, but you're not quite sure what it's like to live there. What are the pros and cons? Where is Orange County? What neighborhoods make up Orange County? Well, today in this video, I'm gonna do some map tours, I'm gonna do some pros, some cons, talk a lot about what Orange County is like, so you can work out whether you wanna live there. All right, let's get to the video. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, a local realtor. If you're looking to make a move to Orange County, please reach out, even if it's in nine days or nine months away and you're just getting the process started, reach out. I'm happy to be a resource, answer any questions. I made the move from London back in 2008, so I know what it's like to make a scary move, not just across states, but across continents as well. Hope to hear from you. Orange County is nestled between LA County and San Diego County has a population of about 3 million. Uh, to put that into context, LA County has a population of 10 million. Um, it's about 950 square miles, which is actually makes it the smallest county in the whole of Southern California, which if you ask me, gives it that real community vibe that we all love. In terms of diversity, you're looking at about 60% white, uh, about 35% Latino or Hispanic, and about 15% of the population in Orange County are above 65. And if you look on niche.com, a website I'm a big fan of, gives you a lot of information when you want to review neighborhoods where you potentially might live. Take a look at this. According to niche.com, they rank Orange County number one for best counties outdoor activity in California, number two for the county with the best public schools in California, and number three for the best county for families in California. Well, if you ask me, that says it all. Three of the most important things for a neighborhood or a county to move to, Orange County has it all. While we're talking about some positives of Orange County, also the crime, the crime levels in Orange County, unbelievably low. In fact, Irvine ranks for a, a city above 250,000, usually number one or number two in the whole of the country for safety. So you can see how important and how good safety is in Orange County. And also when it comes to jobs, if you're looking for a great thriving job market, Orange County is great for you. Irvine, no matter if you're a young professional or already established and looking for that promotion, Irvine has an abundance of job. Probably the biggest job hub in the whole of Orange County. You've got the ports in Long Beach, not too far away. You've got Anaheim. You've got plenty of areas where there is a thriving um, working community. So if you're looking to move to somewhere, get a great job or a great promotion into a better job, definitely check out Orange County. Orange County definitely has a slower pace of life than neighboring LA County. It's more sleepy and East Orange County, I would say, is probably even more of a slower pace of life. A lot of golf, a lot of retirees, 55 and plus communities. Seal Beach, I would also say, is kind of sleepy, which is more on the west side, nearer to LA County. Um, a lot of people these days ask me about the politics of neighborhoods. Well, I would say in Orange County, used to be predominantly or more Republicans. Now it's definitely kind of 50-50. A lot of people have been deciding on where they want to live based on politics. Um, right now in Orange County, I would say it's very, very similar. So when it comes to Orange County and where you want to live, I would say this is where it's a little bit more sleepy. The 55 and over, you've got Laguna Beach, Mission Viejo. It's just a quieter way of life. Now, if you want a bit more hustle and bustle, the beaches and the job hubs, you're looking at Huntington Beach, Irvine and Newport Beach. This is where it gets lively, more tourism, trendy, better restaurants. Um, that's kind of the place to live. Now, if you're looking at more affordable areas of Orange County, Santa Ana, Anaheim, Garden Grove, these are your more affordable areas, um, first time buyers. And then if you're wanting to work in LA County, but you wanna live in Orange County, these neighborhoods here pretty much very accessible into uh, LA County. You can live anywhere here and work in LA County as far as I'm concerned. And if you're liking this video, please like and subscribe. I do videos every week on what it's like to live in Orange County. So if that's what you're looking for, hope to see you in my next video. For me, a huge plus of Orange County, no matter what type of property you're looking to buy, Orange County has you covered. 
If you're looking for large properties, your Belinda, Fullerton, um, Anaheim Hills, you can get some three, four, five, six, seven thousand square foot homes, five, six bedrooms. So if you're moving from the East Coast and you want bigger homes with bigger lots, Orange County has you covered. Also, if you're looking for master plan communities, everything's there for you. Irvine, really, really great, known for its master plan communities, and also 55 plus communities, Mission Viejo, for example. So no matter what you're looking for, Orange County will have you covered. Obviously, by the beach in Newport Beach, if you want the beautiful $10 million plus properties, but also condo living in and around Orange County, um, and prices that start at four, five hundred thousand dollars for a condo in Santa Ana, for example. So, like I said, no matter what your budget and no matter what type of house you're looking for, Orange County will provide you something. If you are looking to move to Orange County, I would definitely have a budget. If you're looking for a three-bedroom or larger, above eight hundred thousand. Now, if you want to move to Irvine, I would say above 950, and obviously the closer you get to the water, you need 1.5 million plus. And if you're like, yeah, Matt, Orange County sounds great, but we want to ride horses. We love equestrian life. We don't want to move to Palos Verde in LA County. Well, guess what? Huntington Central Park is about 350 acres, and you want horses, this is the location for you. It's North Huntington Beach. The homes there are beautiful, large, beautiful streets. Um, Two million dollars or less can get you a really beautiful home. So yeah, if you're wanting to ride horses or own horses, Orange County has that too. And why is Orange County so expensive? Well, listen to all these great things. First of all, we always talk about the weather in Southern California. It's amazing, but in Orange County, it's about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than LA County. So if you want it to be less than 80 degrees by the ocean with a, uh, with a nice breeze in the summer, Orange County's weather, kind of unbeatable. Also the malls, if you like shopping, we have some world-class malls. Um, the South Coast Plaza, Irvine Spectrum Center, truly incredible, um, updated, all the shopping you need. People travel tens and tens of miles. People travel from LA County to go to these malls, especially the South Coast Plaza. Um, so check them out. If you like shopping, Orange County definitely has you covered. And I really want my YouTube channel to have a community vibe. So if I miss anything out in the video, or if there's something that you think I should have added, please comment below. I love it when uh, subscribers are, are commenting to each other. Um, real community vibe, and that's what this channel is all about. And if you're thinking of moving to Orange County, it's probably because of the great weather. And what's great with great weather? Beaches. And guess what? Orange County has 42 miles of beautiful golden beaches. Uh, Dana Point, Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, Huntington Beach, Seal Beach, Sunset Beach. So no matter where you live in Orange County, you're always less than probably 30 minutes to a beach. Um, yeah, your Belinda Anaheim Hills could be a little bit further, but when you're in Orange County, you have these marvelous beaches to enjoy during the fantastic weather. Mwah! And if you're coming from the East Coast, you had a house with a lake and you love boating, well, Newport Beach, really great harbor. You can take your boat out there. There's several different islands as well. Um, so if that's the lifestyle you're looking for, Newport Beach in Orange County, definitely take care of you. If you're looking for more um, individual neighborhood tours, check out my videos. I've done a lot of them around Orange County. And I always say, when you live in Orange County, if you travel a lot for work, you have Santa Ana, John Wayne Airport, right by Irvine. It flies to almost everywhere in America, also internationally. Plus, you've got Long Beach Airport. Love Long Beach Airport. Not too far away as well. So if you live in Orange County, you don't have to travel up to LAX International Airport whenever you're trying to fly. Also, Orange County isn't as old as LA County, so everything's kind of newer. The roads are in better condition. The layout's been worked out better. Um, so for that reason, just getting in and out of Orange County, the freeways, it's more accessible. Everything seems to make more sense. Also, the outdoor... Um, living. It's a very, very healthy place to live. 
A lot of people work out outside on the bike trails, the beaches, the yoga, the juice bar. So if you're looking to move to an area where um, health and fitness is a top priority for a lot of people that live there, check out Orange County. You're probably like, Matt, okay, Orange County, it's great, all these pros. There has to be some cons. Kind of get in here and tell us what's wrong with Orange County. What should we be aware of? Well, there are cons. These are the cons that I hear from people generally who live in Orange County and moving to Orange County. HOA. There's HOAs almost everywhere in Orange County. And I know a lot of people are like, we don't want HOAs all up in our business. We just want to own outright. Well, if that's the case, Orange County might not be for you. There is HOAs everywhere. And also the architecture. A lot of homes were built in the 70s and 80s. Um, in Orange County and because of that the homes are a little bland. I don't know what happened with designers in the 70s and 80s but if you ask me they phoned it in. They weren't that creative and because of that a lot of the homes kind of boring to look at. Another thing about moving to Southern California, Orange County, when it rains people freak out. They don't know how to drive, events are cancelled, people stay inside. I'm from England, it rains all the time, I'm used to it. For some reason in Southern California, Orange County, when it rains, people think it's the end of the world. Um, and there's also mosquitoes now. There never used to be mosquitoes um, in Southern California. For some reason now, not sure what happened, in Orange County, a lot of people are complaining about mosquitoes all of a sudden. Is it a problem? Is it an epidemic? Is that the right word? <laughs> um, no. But there are mosquitoes now, so be aware of that. There's also not great public transport in Orange County. So if you're thinking about moving to Orange County, using the trains, the buses, the metro, all that good stuff, ah, you need a car really in Orange County. Um, don't trust the, the metros or the public um, transport because there isn't much of it. Also, tourism. Um, some people don't want to move to areas where there's a lot of tourism. And a lot of tourists every year come to Orange County because of its beauty and the beaches. Newport Beach, Laguna Beach, there's beautiful homes, the Four Seasons, the Ritz. So if you don't want to move to an area with a lot of tourists coming in and out each year, maybe stay away from Orange County. Also, there's quite a lot of toll roads. And you know how many times I accidentally end up on one without realizing you have to pay the three, four, five dollars. Yes, it's great when there's a rush hour traffic or if you're in a rush and you need to get somewhere quick, the toll roads. But there's a lot of toll roads and it's very easy just to get onto them without realizing. Uh, and a lot of people don't like that. Also, I'm a big fan of asking the locals, what is it like to live in the community? They always usually tell the truth, right? And if you look, there's been 208 reviews on what it's like to live in Orange County. And what is it? Like 185 of them say Orange County is excellent or a very good place to live. I think that says it all. When the locals love where they live, you got to trust them, right? Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about Orange County, please reach out. Like I said, I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, a local realtor. Always happy to help. Hope to hear from you and I hope to see you at my next video.